but it's going to be really busy. They want to sign at least three players, two, three players, then we will see uh, this week what happens, but it will be a really busy week for Manchester United on many, many targets, not only Adrian Rabiot. So many United are prepared to enter into the market. Let me say, probably it's really late because they needed uh, to, to move earlier in the market. They needed to move in a different way. In my personal opinion, uh, Ralf Ragnick was right when he said about the center striker needed in January with Julian Alvarez on the market they need. So there are many positions to cover and for May United it will be really important to be fast. because It's very important to listen back to what Fabrizio Romano said just two days ago. United will be looking at multiple targets this week. Many, many names are going to be flashed out there. Whether you want to call it panicking, whether you want to call it part of the plan, that is entirely up to you. A big name connected to Man United today is Casemiro. He is being looked at as a possible reinforcement. In fact, Man United are in Madrid with different routes open for the moment. Real Madrid have not received a proposal here, according to Felix Diaz. Many, many Spanish outlets reporting that Man United are now in for Casemiro. But many other names as well being discussed in the last 24 hours or so including the Leon striker Dembele. Of course, the Rabio deal still centers on what's happening with Frankie de Jong. Lots to delve into and talk to you about on this edition, afternoon's edition of the Done Deal Show. But as Fabrizio told us a few short days ago, it's always important to go back and remember what was said by the transfer experts. Man United are going to do a, try to do a lot of business in this next couple of weeks. Casemiro being linked to Manchester United is a is an interesting deal. It's a, it's a very, very interesting deal indeed in terms of do you see it happening, first and foremost? What kind of player would he be for Manchester United? We all know the you know the qualities of the player. We all know how good he is. There probably lies the first problem for everybody. How the Man United convince him to join? Well, there's one simple answer to that retirement package. Could Man United be the, the final nest egg of his career? 30 years of age now, I believe. I did check earlier. I'm going to go and check. Turns 31. Yes, 31 this season. Had a very good career at Real Madrid. Won absolutely everything. Is it five Champions Leagues that he has? Um, I believe so. Yes, he's been there for all of them. That's it. So the only reason he joins Man United, a whopping huge pay packet. He would probably be a cheaper option to buy than Frankie de Jong, but you would have to take a lot of that Frankie de Jong deal, the money for that deal, and pump that into the salary of Casemiro. You're probably talking north of three hundred and fifty to four hundred thousand pound a week to try him to try and bring him in to, to, to Manchester United Football Club. And for a lot of people, they'll say too old, you know, too long in the tooth. Um, is there going to be a return of investment in in relation to Man United becoming better, winning trophies? How much longer can he perform at the highest level? Is he even adaptable and ready for the Premier League as, as world-class as he has been at his age? Is this the right move? There's many, many questions that United fans would ask, but this is what happens. As you heard Fabrizio say there at the top, and you can go check out his entire video by clicking on the link in the description below. Man United are going to be inquiring and looking at many, many players. This week alone, you know, in the last week or so, Rabio, of course, we've seen Al Nautovic that we pulled away from. There's talk about Kanya, who now apparently has said no to Manchester United. There are some mooted reports coming out to say that that has happened. Inquiries for Pierre and Rick Abamayang in that striker role. You've now got situations with, of course, Casemiro. There's also a link to the Leon a a striker, Dembele. Man United are in contact with the representatives and could make an offer. By the end of the window, Man United now are using a scatter gun approach. They are looking at all and sundry. They are trying to desperately bring players into the football club because they're panicking, because they've seen 
the opening opening two games of the season, the current squad isn't good enough. Ronaldo seemingly still pushing for this move away. The talks with him and his team to try and calm that down. One, they haven't worked in terms of trying to keep him here, but they've also fouled from the point of view of he's still disrespecting the football club at this point. You've got Joel Glazer trying to keep him. The manager open for selling him. Can we find a replacement? Some people would be happy to come and play an understudy at Man United, sit on the bench and earn money. But those players, generally speaking, are not going to be good enough. Others are going to say no because they don't want to be behind Cristiano Ronaldo. Others will say no because Man United are a complete, utter mess and joke at this moment in time. Others, the fans have made the board say no to because they're simply not good enough. There'll be some people, maybe like Casemiro, that are past their best in the twilight of their career, who will come for one big final payday. And that just makes me think of the David Luiz to Arsenal signing, the William to Arsenal signing, Cavani to Manchester United. Now, we've had a plethora of players join our club. We've seen them join other clubs that at the time going through turmoil and transition themselves. These types of signings typically do not work. And it's a worrying factor for me. It's a worrying factor indeed to see Manchester United look at these types of players. It, it, it truly is a worry for me. Ivan Tony should be a target. He should be. Ward Prowse would be a better option than half the names that we're currently being linked to. We've already seen Mateus Nunes go to Wolves, should have bought him or tried to. Sangari, Palinio, Onana, Kamara. There are a plethora of players better than what we've got and better than what we're linked to for considerably good prices that Man United haven't been looking at, thinking about, and talking to. Now, I'll see the argument. and uh, For me, it's, 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 it's a bit glazer simping, but uh, maybe none of these were on the profile level of Ten Hag. I I'm really sorry to say this. I, can't, I don't believe, I don't believe it right now. And if I'm proven to be wrong, I'll take the L. But I can't see how, in the name of players I've just listed, Ten Hag wouldn't prefer any of them to Rabiot. If Casemiro was such a high target for such a quality player, why are we waiting until the 16th of August to go for him? It's crazy. At the back end of the window in 2020, Manchester United tried to convince us that the likes of Ahmad, Palestri, and Edson Cavani were always targets, were always on the manager's wanted list. Two of them have barely kicked a ball for, for the club, and Cavani was barely fit and available. He was not dedicated to Man United at all. And as soon as they brought in Ronaldo, another similar profile in terms of the age and the stage of their career, Cavani became even more insubordinate and disinterested in Man United and barely and kicked the ball even less. That is what these transfers smell like. And I know fans are desperate for new blood, and, and I am as well as a fan. But we need to be careful here that we're not going to hemorrhage more money that are going to go onto that red list. You know, that red list that Gary Neville created last night of fouled signings. This just feels very, very, very reminiscent of that, in my humble opinion. And listen, first and foremost, I don't even know if it's possible to sign Casemiro. On paper, listen, he's so good compared to what we've got. And, you know, we, I saw him a lot in the Champions League last year. Very good football player. I'm never going to say that he isn't. He's a very, very good football player indeed. But really and truly, is that what Man United need? Is that what Man United want? Is that the direction that we're really going to go in now? It feels like a waste of time to me. It really, really does. When you look at Dembele, now Dembele is an interesting one. Um, again, scored a lot of goals last year in Liga. Scored a lot of goals. 26 years of age. This is a better signing. Is it a higher priority for our manager? I don't think so. Um, if he comes in, what does that do for the, you know, the Gakpo? I mean, still, I'd prefer a Gakpo. Still, I would prefer us to spend money on a on an Anthony than Moussa, Moussa Dembele. But at least there's, you know, he's 26. At least there's some life left in those legs. You know, an opportunity for him to prove himself at this level. You know, a very capable football player. Um, is he someone that's groundbreaking? No. But as I was saying earlier on today, when we were obviously linked with uh, Mateus uh, Kunya, who now, again, according to reports, has seemingly rejected um, 
seemingly rejected Manchester United. Um, uh, uh, maybe this is just the level we're at now. And maybe Man United fans like me have just got to learn to accept that this is the this is where we shop now. This is where we shop. And it's in the, the, the lower end of the market. We're not at Harrods anymore. We're not doing our weekly food shopping at Waitrose. You know, we're, we might be able to stretch to a little Tesco shopping, a little bit of Jay Sainsbury's every now and then. You know, maybe even a maybe even a Waitrose lit mini, a little mini Waitrose store, a little express store every now and then. But we are doing the bulk of our shop, in my opinion, at Pound Stretcher. That's where we are now in our lives. And I think maybe, just maybe, we've got to accept it. You know, Dembele's, Aging Casemiro's, Rabio's of this world, Arnautovic's. These, this is the caliber we're looking at. But I want your opinion on why. Is it because that's where we are? Is it glazonomics? Or is this the case of we need to clear out all the crap and start again? And these are very cheap and easy signings to kind of start the rebuild process on. I, I don't know. I want your thoughts and I want your feelings. But Casemiro to Man United is the latest name linked. As per Fabrizio Romano at the top. Going to be a busy time. United want two to three players. They want to try and get some deals done this week. That is why the scattergun approach is there. But is it right that we're behaving this way? Smash that like button. Leave us your comments below. We'll speak to you soon.